You're watching Forget Being Cool. You think that Gradius is an important game? Let me tell you something, John. This is the most generic space shooter I've ever played in my life. To the extent that the sound effects don't even work. It's time for the button discussion. Okay, so Hi, in John. regards to that, Dave. Dave, I have, to, I have to just dive in right there. Yeah, it was one of the first ever. Okay, that explains a lot. So I'm going to tell you something okay. here, Dave. I want to say that Gradius is the reason that there is a Konami code. Okay, that's huge. In history, so it's relevant. I, I, it doesn't mean it's important. I, I, I would hate to be wrong on this, but I'm about 90% sure that I'm not screwing this info up. It was a an arcade game, and when they ported it over to the NES... The guy was trying to play through it far enough to check for bugs and could not get far enough. So he put the Konami code in there to, like, help him and then forgot to take it back out. And that is why that code is a thing. Okay. Chad, I'm going to tell you something for real right now. Okay, Dave. I think this game is really broken. I think I think the sound effects don't work what? quite right. I would, sh- um, I would okay. shoot and now, I wouldn't hear things. And sometimes I would shoot and hear things. And sometimes stuff, it, it seemed a little bit broken. Now, okay. that so, being so hold said, on. hold on. <laughs> okay. Hold on. I quite enjoyed my time with this game because this is my kind of style of game. This is my kind of arcade like, rush for a higher score kind of game. So, so I had a great here- time with it. Here's what I'm looking forward to now. With this in mind and last week's conversation, mm-hmm. what I'm looking forward to is when the um, Switch, with the NES games, gets keeps getting added to it. I'm looking forward to it getting Life Force. Because Life Force is Contra meets Gradius. Gradius. Oh, that's... Gradius. Gradius. Yes. Because <laughs> it's like... So, so, you know, the way Gradius works... Right, as you're flying along, I, I believe you're going left to right, um, yes. and you shoot the enemies, and certain ones will be pink, and you'll get like a power up from it. Yep. And then as you go along, you can uh, hit a button to select the power up that is highlighted by how many power ups you've gotten. <clears throat> uh, first of all, what power up do you should? What power up did you like to go for first? The one that sends the most. Out at a time that I have, John? Okay. So the way the power-ups in this, because apparently you didn't pay that close attention. So the first one is speed. So if you just get one thing, you get it goes on the speed. Okay. So if you click it, you get faster. And you can get that like three times. If you get a second one, it moves to the next one. And then if you get another one before you've selected to, to take it in, it goes to the next one. And there's like dual. There's one that's like a dual. There's one that's missiles, which is where you uh, – <clears throat> I think with, with missiles, you actually drop um, – like bombs down that go along the bottom of it. Yeah, I didn't like Duels that. Spin- um, it's really good for certain things. Uh, there's also ones where you get like a second ship that's flying around you that shoots as well. There, there are some just some really cool power ups in this thing. Okay. And I love that about it. There's actually a game, <clears throat> and we actually we, we should try to play this sometime. It's on the Switch now on the online deal, and it's called Twin B, and it's kind of like a kind of like this but you can play it two player i would love to play that and i believe it's made by konami also um well they made tons of these this i mean if i have a complaint john okay if i have to file a complaint it's similar to last week and to say that this doesn't stand out for me in any way there's, there, so, I, I played a thousand games like this. But see, here's the, here's one of the big things is like this, I believe, was the first big one. So this is this is what they now call shmups, right? Shoot 'em ups. Okay. Uh, the side scrolling, and I want to say there's like vertical or I don't know whatever stupid name they give for the other ones. I like and vertical more I, often than I enjoy these. This I quite enjoyed though. I see. I prefer this way, but it's, I think Gradius is where it started for me. Okay. And it, this was an arcade game. It, it went over to NES. It 
it has spawned a series. There's multiple ones out there. Um, I have one that's actually on the Game Boy Advance, maybe, or either Game Boy or Game Boy Advance. I have a version of this game that still, it, it plays very similar. There's not a whole lot changed. Gradius 3, I believe, is on the Super Nintendo. If you put the Konami code in it on Gradius 3, your ship blows up. Oh, that seems useful. It's funny. It, it was kind of just like a thing because they knew people would do it. Um, with this one, I believe it just gives you all the power-ups, so you should try it sometime. In the middle of the game, I think you pause it, do it, and it gives you all the power-ups. That would be great. I would love to try that because I'm I'm not very great at this game. I've never I've never exceeded anybody's super high score on anything. Um, well, but see, I, you call you call this a high score thing, and yes, it keeps the score and all that stuff. But the purpose of it is, is to, to get, get to further. the end, right? Yeah, and I and I appreciate the checkpoint system because I felt like I was making progress as I got better and better and better. Um, I think I felt like I was actually unlike Super C, I felt like I was making bigger bigger jumps forward i was i was improving well, as a player as time went on versus so so here's the big difference between this and super c so well, let's start with the similarity the big similarity besides the fact they're both konami games is that the levels are always the same the enemies are always in the same place they always move the same way right, right? so you can learn them as you go through to get better to get through the levels easier the difference is you're not having them come up from behind you in this. And I think that probably plays a big part in you because you were able to just look ahead of you to see what's happening. I also felt like I understood the patterns of what the ships or the opposing whatever as you want to call them were doing. Like I understand when they do that kind of like loopy thing like I need to get into this angle to shoot all of them. Like I understand those patterns. Yeah. And, and maybe that's because I enjoy this genre. I like this space shooting, you know, shooter kind of style game more than I enjoy side-scrolling beat-em-ups with guns. So, so I mean, I maybe, it's just, maybe it's just practice. Maybe it's from the amount of Galaga I've played to understand this. And, and so Galaga is very similar, but Galaga is a vertical version. Right, right. Um, I think this is better done because you have all the different weapons. I think it's better designed. I think that it's one of those things where it is in the 8-bit world and holds up visually, yes, in my because, opinion. Because I think... It it lends to its art style and treats it like an art style versus treating it like it was trying to innovate moving forward. Well, yeah, and, and kind of in the same way, and and I don't know if it's a, a space alien thing or what, but I feel that um, oh, Metroid is similar in that in that thing where it, it still holds up with the way it looks because of the art style it decided to use. I think fantasy and non-realistic always has held up better. Oh, of course. In, in this course. way, in this way, to, to it, it lends itself to having imagination to fill in the gaps of what these ships and what these things look like for you, versus telling you here's what we think it should look like, but that will not stand in you know twenty years, thirty years, etc. Yeah, um, it's it's a great game, man. Like it. It, I think it plays well. I think it plays fair. I definitely um, think it's fair. I think I feel like some of the sounds are off. And, and I've never played it on an arcade machine. Like maybe it's the emulation that the NES did. Maybe this is how it's always been. But for my, it could also be. It could also be that it's on the NES Classic that you're playing it. Right. Right. Like that could come into play because we've already talked about how how everything's slightly off. Right. On that. So it could I don't know. I I've never noticed it. It had I mean it had moments where it, it felt like everything was working perfectly fine and that's why I believe that the moments where it wasn't something felt off like the music was playing but the guns weren't making sounds and I was like I don't, I don't know about this. Um so well so something else with some of these older games especially and I want to say Gradius is is uh, a victim to this as well as Contra and some other ones is when there's too many things happening on the screen at once. When there's too many bullets flying is when you really start to see it. Everything kind of bogs down. I'd like, I'd like to see this in its original arcade form, and it's one of those games that I've never seen in an arcade. So, uh, yeah, neither have I. I don't think I've ever played it there. What I have played, which you might find somewhat interesting, um, and I don't remember. I want to say maybe I got it on uh, PS Plus on the on the on the PlayStation Four. Was like a new version of Galaga, 
And oh, I love that game. I absolutely love that game. It's amazing. Or is it is, is it on Game Pass? It's on one of the newer it's, systems I, that it's, you can get for free. I think it's on PS4 or PS3. But man, but man, it's good and it holds up. Yeah. I love this genre. This genre stands out to me. I would play this game on the NES Classic. I feel like it belongs there. Like I feel so, like it's a game that, for the genre that it was, it actually feels like it plays fun there. Versus some of these games that don't seem to hold up as much as they used to or are not quite as enjoyable in this setting. Like, no, I think this is perfect. Because it's, so, pick, it's pick up and running, try to get as far as you can, but you're also going for a score, and I appreciate the score. Because I feel so, like so, every time I nail a pattern, you know, every time I nail a pattern, John, I'm impressed with myself. Okay, so a couple things before we close this one out. Okay. One is we need to play Twin B together. Um, yes. we'll, we'll find some night we can do that. Like right Two, now. I'm... I'm uh, uh, we'll see what my wife's doing. Um, two, I have, I'm about to show you a game that I want to play with you sometime when we are, sometime when we hang out, which is going to happen one day. But I want to play this game. It's this right here. This right here is a game called Paradius. So okay. if you notice, it's got, it has that Gradius Paradius. Uh-huh. It's a parody of Gradius. It's made by Konami. It has Gradius car- uh, things in there. It has Twin B uh, ships in there. It's got a few other stuff from Konami in there. It's a Famicom. It's a Japanese Famicom game um, from apparently 1990. And, dude, it is fantastic. It's got that same fun feeling. It's got all the same type power-ups, but depending on what character you you choose, you'll have different ones because you're the different characters. Like They'll look a little bit different, but they'll all work kind of the same. This game, like the fact that Gradius brought about this game, makes Gradius one of the greatest games ever. Because of just because of what I love it, like what's come of it, they can advance the genre further. Anyway, John, I love this game. I say play it on the NES Classic Edition because it's the best place to get. I've never seen it in arcade. I'm sure it exists, and if I ever see it, I'm gonna run for it now. It's not a game, you know. You see Gallic and you see Pac Man at every arcade. They seem to yeah. maintain those machines. For God knows what reason, this I've never seen it. If I do, gonna be hyped. Anyway, I give this game a solid, it? solid ninety-eight percent. Oh Jesus! I give this one three smiling with sun with sunglasses emojis. You got which it, which equals about a ninety percent. Thanks for telling me something, everybody. Forget being cool. For more great discussions, hit that subscribe button or visit forgetbeingcool.com.